ankle arthroscopic arthrodesis session. It's uh, no big difference, just I want to show you why we need an arthroscope. Then the technique is not that difficult. It's just kind of labor job. You need some muscle and you don't need any specific technique. Uh, the, actually, I started this uh, arthrodesis two years ago. I'm not that ex expert. I don't have that kind of expertise about this one. Uh, before that, I did. I prefer some total ankle replacement surgery. I did more than 400 cases, but after two years ago, I stopped. Nearly stopped. And nowadays, I'm doing some uh, Hinterman Hintegra from time to time because mobility they Smith and FU at DP they decide to stop producing that kind of total ankle and I'll show you another reason here and then ankle arthroscopy you are now experiencing the according to the text is still standard gold standard is open arthrodesis but it's already changed yeah, you can see many papers. It has already changed. Open surgery, open arthritis is not anymore a gold standard. It's the paradigm shifting is so fast. Like China, China is now becoming a, you know, you know, it's a, now it's a big, fastest changing country. It's a superpower. China, there you are becoming. I read a lot of books like that. This gold standard is changing in terms of arthrodesis. Take a brief look at the background incidents. Much less than knee surgery, knee arthritis, and but the difference is more. more you, then you have to. Uh, you don't need to ignore it. Just more than 80% is post-traumatic. It means the bone is so hard. Did you see the, the previous video? The subtitle joint all also very looks very hard. Uh, remove the get the soft bone is not easy one. And and also other doctors reported that Dr. Sarsman also more seventy percent, eighty percent is post traumatic. And no definite specific contraindication applied to this surgery. Just active infection you have to avoid the kind of Thing. And the, the, the natural history, uh, if you fuse that one and the, after 10 years later, 20 years later, or the sub adjacent joint developed the arthritis, but less than 50%. And amongst them, even less than 50%, they are not, majority of patients are not symptomatic. So, uh, so that's why I decided to have open-minded to this arthrodesis surgery. Uh, and another reason, why, why, and then why we need arthroscope? Already 15 years ago, Mark Myerson, he reported that markedly decreased time to fusion, less than three months. Uh, maybe sometimes, you, if you do arthroscope surgery, sometimes six, six weeks or eight weeks, you can get a beautiful x-ray. Sometimes you can get that, you can uh, uh, experience that kind of good uh, cases. Okay, and another one is Forkel, Dr. Forkel. He also, but another worry is uh, infection or I know, nerve injury around the foot, ankle, but he reported no nerve injuries. His, his technique must be fantastic. Uh, why I just go again? But there is an obstacle. You, our major concern is deformity. How it is tilted more than 50 degrees or less than 50 degrees, and if it it fixed uh, so there's before we, a lot of patients have so that's our concern but nowadays many uh, promising papers are reported now that 50 degrees actually arbitrary division so 14 degree 16 degree 20 degree we don't know but, uh, but the results is similar more than 50 degree less than 50 degree Time to fusion complication rate is much similar between them, between both. And another report 
the same same re result. But the severe the de deformities, uh, the longer time they you have to get to get some confusion. He's saying a little bit longer time with this bigger deformity. And uh, this is my painful memory. I want to share with you. Is uh, look at that the line. I did some distal osteotomy to fix this various deformity. But it fails. It still hurts very hard. Complaining a lot in the clinic. So I convert her to uh, total ankle replacement. It still hurts. So, and but uh, this also hurts. And then I, uh, this time I convert her to, I do fusion like that. A little varus is so, varus is more than inside fusion. I, it's not well done surgery. It's not. It looks poor. The virus is not corrected. But she's now doing very okay. She's very happy. She wants to uh, remove it and fuse it. But to both sides fusion, I'm kind of reluctant. So I'm seducing I, I, her to be stay a little bit more. And I want. I don't want to remove this one. It's not collapsed yet. So, but it hurts. Really hurts, and it works very well. So, uh, after that, after two, after that, I, I, my my surgery is more. Most of my cases are fusion, and I don't do that kind of to total knee place replacement. Well, every once in a while, and you have to check this up, oh, AP and lateral X-ray, and the more more important one is being projected from behind, and then you can see compare the lower leg axis and the hind foot. Uh, you can see how much values you have to correct. Okay. And long bone X-ray could be also helpful. It depends on your preference, but sometimes I do some proximal tibial osteotomy if patient has severe virus deformity. He, I heard that Dr. Wu Chan Li also visited uh, uh, last year, so he also doing the proximal tibial osteotomy correct if the virus is severe and. And good social consideration is general consideration. We have to remember, not for us, but for patients. We have to explain these limitations to the patient before surgery. Because if you get a great result, good, good fusion, then but that surgery is not perfect one. It's not a restoration of normal function. So you have to explain it before surgery to, uh, to raise the satisfaction rate. And another principle is here. Yeah. But among them, among them is uh, you don't need to do all the. Okay. Here, uh, the more important thing is the difference between open surgery and arthroscopic surgery is one thing. The risk among them respect the soft tissue more than with arthroscopic and. and, and then the other difference is create congruent cancerous surfaces. I think I want to emphasize here. I experienced a couple of uh, non-union cases uh, since I started this ankle osteoscopy fusion because it's, the bone is so hard because majority of patient have, is post-traumatic. The bone is like marble, stone, so it's it's hard to get the softish bone. Soft bone, cancerous bone, and another another debatable issue I want to show you is residual fixation. Every author emphasizes residual fixation, but two screw, three screw plate, which is better in terms of rigid fixation? Uh, okay, another general principle we have to memorize five degree values, values. And another one, technically demanding, but uh, pre previously I showed you the deformity is not the obstacle anymore. Uh, and five degrees, uh, no definite contraindications, just a similar general condi uh, contraindications. Okay.